Good morning. This week I'm bringing you a children's sermon from where we've been vacationing at the beach. And I want to show you something. Take a look at this. So this is a view of the beach from the balcony where we're staying. And you can see that it's, it's crowded right now because it is the weekend. Lots of people coming back in. I'm going to uh, zoom in. See all those birds on top of the pavilion there? You can hear music coming from the pavilion. It's a, a, just a public place um, for people who want to visit the beach. Lots of birds up there. And um, flying around down near the ocean, you can see some birds. They are everywhere down here. Pelicans, sandpipers. Um, we've seen lots of pigeons and we've seen seagulls. We watched some pelicans diving for fish. It's so, so cool. Seeing all those birds at the beach this week made me think of a scripture. Um, there are several scriptures in the Bible that talk about birds, but this one in particular popped into my mind. Um, and it, I just found it very reassuring. Let me share it with you. This is Matthew chapter 10. Got my Bible out here. Chapter 10, verses 29 and 30. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet none of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. When I saw so many birds this week and was aware of them in a new way because they were very interested in any food we had with us down on the beach, um, it made me think about, you know, how many birds must there be in the world? And to think that God would treasure each one of us even more than all those birds and animals he has created. It's just really a beautiful thought, a wonderful feeling. And it made me think too, not just about God's love for me, but God's love for every person. That he can feel that way not just one time for one person, but for every human he has ever created. And that really is incredible. And thinking that way makes me look around at all the people I see differently. It doesn't matter too much if we're from different places or speak different languages, if we look different and sound different. I know that that person is someone God loves. And it helps me to be a little more kind, to be a little more thoughtful. And that's something our world needs right now. When we remember how much God loves us, that he even knows exactly how many hairs are on our heads. <laughs> he loves us all that way. And remembering that can hopefully help us be a little bit kinder toward each other. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much that you love us so well. We thank you for the birds, the glory of your creation. And we pray, Lord, that you help us remember how much you love every other person around us. In Jesus' name.